Hello friends, welcome back to Gate Shot Trick Series. This is Vinay Yadav back with another trick in Signal System. Today we are going to see the trick to solve continuous time convolution sum. More specifically, we are going to see the sum wherein we get the rectangular waveform and we have to solve the convolution for it. So let's jump directly to the sum and there only we will see the trick. So the first sum is we have this signal and this signal. We have to find the convolution of this two signal and get the resultant. Okay, so. The traditional way to solve this type of sum is that either we can use the traditional convolution formula which is y of t is equals to minus infinity to infinity x of tau h of t minus tau d tau. If you see this formula carefully, it signifies that you have to impose this signal over this signal or you can impose this signal over this signal okay over a period of minus infinity to infinity to get the resultant okay and you can imagine how tedious it will be if you solve this sum by this technique okay or the second way to solve this sum is that you can use the Laplace transform okay so basically what you will do is you are going to write this waveform into the uh, equation and using that equation you will convert it into Laplace transform and then you will try to solve the sum. What I'm saying is that the equation of this signal, what it will be, it will be u of t minus u of t minus 2, right? Similarly, for this signal, it will be u of t plus 1 minus u of t minus 1, right? So now you are going to take the Laplace transform of this equation and this equation. So this equation, it will be 1 upon s minus 1 upon s e raised to 2s similarly for this it will be 1 upon s e raised to minus s minus 1 upon s e raised to s okay now to get the resultant y of s what you will do you will multiply this to laplace transform f1 of s multiply by f2 of s and then again you are going to take the inverse laplace transform okay so this was the two traditional way to usually do in exam now let's see the trick that we have to follow to solve this kind of sum so the trick says that first you have to write the l1 l2 r1 r2 what is l1 l1 is this l1 of this signal is 0 l2 of this signal is minus 1 okay basically leftmost part of this signal is 0 leftmost part of this signal is minus 1 rightmost part of this signal is 2 which will be r1 equals to 2 here it will be r2 is equals to 1 okay so the resultant the resultant leftmost and rightmost part will be l is equals to l1 plus l2 so here it will be 0 plus minus 1 so it will be minus 1 so here it will be z minus 1 similarly rightmost part of this resultant signal it will be r1 plus r2 so it will be 2 plus 1 is equals to 3 so you get the leftmost and rightmost part of the signal okay so which is minus 1 and 3 respectively so now you want the waveform okay let me tell you every time when you solve the convolution of a rectangular waveform either it will be a triangular waveform or it will be a trapezoidal waveform okay that whenever you have the same with rectangular waveform then it then the resultant will be triangular pulse if it is of unequal width it will be trapezoidal way let's see how it will be so now you can see the width of this pulses is 2 the width of this pulse is also 2 so what does this means that this two pulses is of equal width okay so the peak of the triangular waveform you will get at the center of this minus 1 and 3 so minus 1 and 3 will result into the center of 1 right so here we will get the peak of our triangular pulse okay now the question is what will be the slope of this triangular so the slope the slope of this triangular waveform will be this 4 multiplied by 2 so 4 multiplied by 2 it will be 8 similarly for this it will be minus 8 right here it is rising here it will decrease okay so both this this slope and this slope will be same 4 into 2 but the thing is here it will be rising and here it will be falling okay so you get the slope now the question is what will be the amplitude of this triangular pulse so since the slope is 8 
by this slope what we can get is we can get the amplitude right so minus 1 to 0 we will have the amplitude of 8 then 0 to 1 we will have the amplitude of 16 right so we got uh, amplitude we got uh, slope we got leftmost part we got rightmost part okay so this is it this is the answer of this cash question now let's see the another sum the another sum is we have this waveform where we have a rectangular waveform from minus 1 to 2 and here we have rectangular waveform from minus 1 to 3 the amplitude of this is 2 let's say so we have to get the resultant convolution waveform okay so similarly here you can see here your l1 is minus 1 l2 is minus 1 so our resultant left mode pass will be minus 1 plus minus 1 it will be minus 2 the rightmost part it will be 2 plus 3 it will be 5 here you can see the width of this pulse is minus 1 to 2 it so it will be 3 here it is minus 1 to 3 so it will be 4 okay so you you can see the width is not same so it is unequal width sum so here we will get the resultant waveform is a trapezoidal one okay yeah, and your trapezoidal waveform some look something like this okay okay now we got this we got this we have to get this okay so let me tell you this this is nothing but the smallest width pulse that you have so here you can see the smallest width is 3 okay so this will be 3 here and this side also will be 3 both this will be symmetric huh? always so from minus 2 we have to go to plus 3 so minus 2 minus 1 0 1 so here it will be so here we will get our edge from 5 we have to get back 3 step okay so 4 3 2 okay so this is what our trapezoidal waveform will look like okay now the question is what will be the slope slope will be same 4 multiplied by 2 8 here also it will be minus 8 so from minus 2 to minus 1 we will have the amplitude of 8 from minus 1 to 0 we will have 16 from 0 to 1 we will have the amplitude of 24 okay so we get the amplitude 24 we got the slope we got the leftmost part we got the rightmost part so this is our answer okay so you can see clearly that how fast you can solve this sum if you follow this trick let's solve some another sum now we have this sum wherein we have the sum in the form of equation okay ut plus 1 minus ut minus 2 so ut plus 1 is something like this ut minus 2 is something like this okay so the resultant waveform will be the rectangular pulse from minus 1 to 2 right for this also it will be from minus 3 to 3 right let me change my pen we have to get the convolution for this right so here you can see the width is 3 the width is 6 so it is a trapezoidal waveform okay leftmost part will be minus 1 plus minus 3 so it will be minus 4 rightmost part will be 3 plus 2 which will be 5 okay the smallest width is 3 so from minus 4 we have to get back 3 step okay so minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 okay so here we will have this part of trapezoidal waveform right from 5 we have to get back 3 so 4 3 2 okay right and this is it okay this will be the shape of our trapezoidal waveform the slope will be okay so here this amplitude is 1 here also it is 1 the so slope will be 1 from minus 4 to minus 3 it will be 1 amplitude will be 1 from minus 3 to minus 2 amplitude will be 2 from minus 2 to minus 1 the amplitude will be 3 okay so the amplitude is 3 of this trapezoidal waveform the slope of this falling edge it will be minus one okay we got the amplitude we got the slope we got the leftmost part we got the rightmost part so this is it this is the convolution result of this two rectangular waveform okay so you can see clearly how much time you are 
saving by solving this type of sum using this trick okay so that is it from my side thank you guys